Well, folks, there's two alternatives. You can believe in the first creation story, which was before the Bible and Jesus, the Sumerian creation story, which tells that a galactic race of aliens or reptile aliens came to Earth and kind of basically created everything. Um, and um, now um, these are reptile gods. So basically um, the reptile gods came to Earth and they created human. The reptile gods created the humans. And um, and that's um, they came from space. Um, doesn't say what planet it is. I don't believe. Like in Nock or something. They came from space. And the um, only problem with that, um, well, if that's the first creation story, right? The very first about uh, how it all started from the beginning to now, creation of all existence. Um, why would, they, why would the gods just be reptiles? Um, why would they be just aliens? And, and, um, were they created by even another civilization? Of a god, and another god, and another god, and another god? Or, was this the first there was just, they always existed throughout the universe of all existence. These reptile gods, they always existed throughout all existence. Now what seems more plausible, that or an atheist perspective, everything came through natural, not the supernatural. Everything evolved through billions of years. So we got alien reptile god that just came from space that just came from space and created all existence or the universe and existence came about through evolution abogenesis exogenesis um, or panspermia through billions of years now, what, what makes more sense but then again if you go to the second creation story of the Bible and Jesus, they say, that God in the Bible created humans. But even though the Sumerian creation was the first creation story. And it's kind of ironic that, well, you know, God's, the God doesn't, in the books, doesn't like anybody to believe any other God. He's insecure, you know. He doesn't want you to worship any other God. No false gods before me. So, um, isn't it kind of ironic, and I find it very ironic, that the whole God of the universe will have multiple creation stories, multiple religions, and if it was all, if there's only one God, there would be only one book, one creation story. Wouldn't the Bible and Jesus be the first? Shouldn't that be the first creation story? Why would it be the second creation story? The God always existed throughout all of time. Surely be one creation story. The creation story of all creation stories. Why would there be a Sumerian creation story? Which again predated Jesus and the Bible. And is the first creation story. So perhaps it's all made up. Perhaps these people had delusions. Grandeur, just like people get abducted by aliens and UFOs, and um, and um, well, they had nothing else to do in back then besides to live their life, hunt for food, gather food, and procreate, and make children. I mean, what else are they going to do? Well, perhaps they decided the right stories. And of course, basically, the religion came about. Uh, the wealthy took control of the peasants, created laws, taught teach them how to live, and um, their guidelines, created commandments. That's pretty much how it all started. So, 
would you believe in a god of of the creation? I mean, besides, where did a god come from if it's, well, the god says you can't have multiple gods worship me. Okay, so did this god break away from hundreds of other gods? Or, or did this god just always exist and then and then after the second creation story or the other from well it all the you know the funny thing is it all started as polytheistic it all started with multiple gods before the one god of jesus believe it or not why would god all of a sudden decide a thousand more years make this creation story <laughs> How would people know how, if God created all existence and humans and consciousness, how would God know if the first creation story is the wrong creation story and it's before Jesus? <laughs> See, we're going, we're going in circles. How, how would God know? And how would God give people brains if, if the first creation story is the first race, the first whatever existence, these reptili reptilian gods? I create all existence. But then again, the God in the Bible is people say God is Jesus, Jesus is God. Some people dispute that. Some people dispute the Holy Trinity. Some people say Jesus is Jesus and God is God. It's it it's so contradicting. But but a lot of people believe Jesus is God. You know, so in other words, Jesus sacrifices himself to save himself and save all. <laughs> Does this make any sense? But hey, if you believe in that. Go ahead. Just something to think about. I thought I'd just bring that up. So we got three things. Reptile gods. First creation story. Believe in that. Second creation story. Well, actually, I don't know if it's a second creation story, but but it's not the first. The after. Uh, the Shemaine creation. The Bible. The Bible creation story. Or the Genesis creation story, as it's called. Um, and of course, there was other creation stories uh, for the other religions as well. And the Hindu creation story. Um, some of it's um, some of the creation stories are are pretty crazy. In other words, people's tears created humans. That's in one creation story. I, I think the Egyptian creation story says people spit humans out. Or they actually got the humans came out of their nose. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. Um, I, I know it's hard to comprehend. No God. All this came about with no God. I know it's hard to hell. It, it, it is kind of hard to comprehend. But the more you study, the more you really use your brain and think about it really thoroughly, and as well as the infinite regression of gods and where the hell does God come from, and and the the universe didn't always exist. It just came to exist. And if the God was always eternal, the universe should be eternal. You know, things, arguments like this, makes you sense that, hey, maybe it all happened with no gods at all. Or, you know, maybe even, maybe there's a secret creation story, even before the Sumerian. Maybe there's another planet or another galaxy. Let's go to Zeta Reticular, the Graelians. Um, they, have, they have a creation story. Or maybe our universe has just a bunch of multi-universes. And maybe there was even more Big Bangs prior to the, the first Big Bang. Maybe there was like multiple universes, multiple galaxies. But no matter how far time you go, um, you know, um, it's just the infinite regression of gods and gods and gods. So it's more likely and plausible that everything it came about through naturalistic means and not supernaturalistic means. That's the way I think. But, um, and, and there had to be because the Sumerian creation story is the first creation story. Unless there's another planet or another creation story that has yet to been discovered, which possibly could be true, and it could be the the, the really true creation story, um, has yet to been discovered. But the problem is just infinite regression. Um, we have to see our universe as a, as a whole, as as a huge concept billions of years, you know, um, and, and if you just 
keep on going backwards the God, the God, the God you're getting nowhere naturalistic means makes sense how it all started and it's a very, very long process billions of years 